Hey guys, welcome to the next LP, which is going to be Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, brought to us by Lucas Arts. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis is probably one of my favorite Lucas Arts point-and-click adventure games. It's about up there with the original Monkey Island game, but in all honesty, I prefer this over Monkey Island. Because first and foremost, I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan, and this is an amazing story. Not to mention, uh, this story did have a sequel on the N64 and the PC, which was known as Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. And I might do Infernal Machine some other date, but damn, that game's hard as shit. But anyway, this is Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis, a point-and-click adventure game by LucasArts, as I said before, where we play as Indiana Jones. However, this is a special version of it. When this game was released, there were two versions made. There was a standard version, and there was a talkie version. All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? That's right, folks, this is the talky version. Some kind of funeral urn. And I absolutely love the talky version. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Because I really love the voice actor who does Indy. A copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Yes, it's not Harrison Ford, but he does a pretty damn good job at it. <laughs> Oof. Now, in this little introduction, you can skip it any time hitting escape, but this is actually a really neat little way to introduce you to Indiana Jones as well as uh, the, char uh, the characters that we shall soon see. Label says unidentified potsherds. So Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. <laughs> anyway, as he said before, Looks we are like trying to styles from the Shamut collection. We are trying to find a statue. Oh! Damn, Doctor Jones. This is, isn't your day, is it? Now, another cool thing about this game, this game has multiple endings and multiple branching pathways uh, to get to Atlantis. I'm going to be taking the pathway that um, I am the most comfortable with and I know a lot about. I think I've read them all. It's an old lecture hall desk. Ah, books on statues. This should help us. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. Oh! And yes, John Williams. Yes, John Williams did help out in small ways for this, but other than that, um, music is very. The music is amazing in this game. You better get that roof checked. <laughs> Possibly an ancient Mesopotamian cat god. Down the coal chute. Oh man. Doug Lee is Indiana Jones, probably my favorite Indiana Jones voice actor um, in the video games. Not only did Doug Lee do Fate of Atlantis, he was also responsible for Infernal Machine. Uh, the person who they got to do Emperor's Tomb was all right, and I've never played uh, the new one, even though I heard it was pretty bad. Which disappoints me, because the Indiana Jones games are a lot of fun. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Yes, and it just took us to almost... looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Yes, and all it took was us to basically break every single bone in our body and whatnot. And yes, this game is done on the Scum Engine. As we go into the lecture hall to talk to Marcus about this horned statue of ours that he wanted so badly. I'm back. 
Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. <laughs> Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is this? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. So yes, we're dealing with Nazis again, ladies and gentlemen. What's the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. <laughs> Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Well, where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. Oh, oh. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. That's why I got into my nice suits and everything. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. And I tend to rekindle an old flame. Ho ho! Anyway, we travel from Barnett College all the way down to New York City. And now our game begins! Hello there. The show sold out, sir. But... No seats, no standing room, no exception. Okay, you little bitch. Um... Excuse me. Come back next week. <sighs> Fine. Anyway... Standard controls for a point-and-click adventure game. Left-click lets you walk, and then if you uh, hold an object, you can right-click to shortcut to the paper. highlighted to the highlighted object. But it's today's paper. Let's go and pick up today's paper. It's today's paper. Well, thank you, Indy. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Well, damn. That's much for that idea. But hey, what's this? The back door is unguarded. We could very easily sneak in. Hmm, it's unlocked. Just our luck. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Well, it looks like one. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. <laughs> this ain't that kind of show. <laughs> oh, do I want to... Really? I'm told she postulates on stage. <laughs> That's a bald lie, and you better apologize for spreading it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I really don't want to fight you, pal. Now beat it. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. What now, buddy? I really need to talk to your star. That's what they all say, Mac. Help me out here, will you? 
I would, but she'd have my head. Good night. Better luck next time. Now, see, there are multiple ways to get through this. You can There's try to... some way to talk my way in. Yeah, you can try talking your way with the brute, or you can fight him. And I'm going to tell you right now, the fighting mechanics in this game are very wonky crane. and busted. So, we're going to do it this way. By simply pushing... Wrong way, Indy. Come on. Crate. Okay. Push crate. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. We're basically going to make our way to, come on, to the escape the ladder up like here. Might lead backstage. And there we go. Like I said, this is one of the many oh, ways to get in. You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. <laughs> I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. <sighs> Hold on! You can't go out there! Yes, I can. I'm Dr. Please Indiana Jones! Watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Welcome to City 13. Beyond our wildest dreams. Or Metropolis. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean. Hmm. And described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Yeah, no kidding. She's a good fraud, I'll give her that. Hold on! She's just coming to the exciting part. There's more? What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? Or maybe someone just hated it so much that they... Happened, Whoa! Panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or... <laughs> perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. Who On knows? some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts. The all-seeing Nurab Sal is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Yeah, well, I can make her stop. But we will do that another time. Or, yeah. So, we're going to go and save our game. Oh, and let's call this... Oh, documents. Oh. New. Uh, LP. LP. Game. And there we go. We saved. Yeah, let's go Hold out there on. one more time. She's still talking. I know she is. <sighs> Fine. Well, until next time, guys, we'll figure out how to get rid of our faithful little stagehand right here so we can actually go talk to this so-called psychic. Until next time, guys.